I just wanted to do right by her because I am still here. My sister's name was Heather. She passed away from pancreatic cancer. I lost my brother on my 10th birthday. I lost my brother to suicide and his name was Harry. I lost my brother when he was 16 years old in a car accident. I have a lot of memories of him just tickling me so hard that I couldn't breathe. She was sarcastic and sassy and the smartest person that I might ever know. His friends are still in contact with me today and every time they see me, they tell me how much I look like him. When I think about him, I think of him as he was, which is like a teenager. And then when I dream about him, he's almost always like a baby. Whenever he's in my dreams, I'll like pick him up and like just hold him. It's really nice. We found out during my birthday party that he was found um, dead. I looked down at my phone and my little sister had just called. And it's kind of one of those things that you can't describe, but you just know. He and my grandmother decided to take a road trip together. I remember very vividly seeing my grandfather and the police officer walk through my back door. It happened about a year ago, and I got a message from him and made the decision to drive home. So I got to see him that night and then it happened the next morning. I called my sister back and she let me know that Heather was gone. And it was just the hardest thing to watch my mom, her being in bed and just crying and crying. And my grandfather just said there was an accident in Nevada. My initial instinct was to want to talk to her immediately. And I can't tell you how many times I actually picked up the phone and went, oh no. That number doesn't work anymore. It's been over a year, but it, it doesn't feel like over a year. It feels like it was like yesterday, you know? It took me a long time to stop entertaining the thought that maybe it wasn't real. There's always the questions of like, well, if I was home, if I was closer, like, would I have been able to do anything? And there are moments that you were so fine, and then the next second, for no reason, you were like a crying heap on the floor. When I feel myself go into the pain of it, I allow myself to because I think that that's important. It doesn't matter how much I heal or how much emotional processing I go through or how much I pray or go to therapy or whatever, he's still gone. If you wait for that sadness to go away, like it won't. I think the only way to make it completely go away would be to forget about him. I know this is cliche, but honestly, I think about him every day. There's not a day that goes by that I don't think about her. I don't know that it will really ever feel normal because I mean, it can't. That sort of empty space in my life, it's still there, it's still an empty space, but it doesn't feel so glaring anymore. It's like a, a, a heavy, heavy weight, but maybe the weight is still heavy and I just have gotten stronger. It doesn't get easier. It gets more manageable. Thank <laughs> you.